So how do you do guys? Welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards TV. In this class, I'm going to teach you guys, of course, ASP.NET web pages, and we're going to see how to populate this particular. You can see we have a list view, a grid view if you like, and we've actually populated it with data. Okay, so from an array. So this is what we're going to see. You can see we have right here the title, then we have the description. Now, if you click show, for instance, then you are able to handle the item click for the show button now of course if you have this one then of course you can see it's actually viewed okay so show and viewed we're going to handle the item clicks and as you can see this is what we're going to build in this our first episode of sp.net web pages so let's get started our first step is to actually create our project so come right here choose the of course visual c sharp is our language then we can choose the web right here and then we go ahead and then choose of course this one we're going to go with this asp.net application okay so this is what we're going to see we're going to build this one so this is what you choose then come click ok okay now if you go ahead click ok as we doing right here you can see it's bring us another form so go choose the empty so choose the empty right here and then click ok so that we create our application so the very next thing is that we're going to come right here and we're going to move over to our layout.chml and by the way i'm using materialize team so you guys can go ahead download from materializecss.com okay and then download the materialize uh, css okay and then we can place it under the assets you can see i have the materialize.min.css then uh, i'm also going to create my own css file right here if i come let me open it you can see this is my custom css but otherwise all we actually need is the materialize.min.css okay from materializecss.com now it's actually a library i'm not sure why it's not showing under this visual studio now once you've done that one then first you're going to have two files the layout.chml as well as the index.chml now first layout.chml is our master page okay it's the master page it will get applied to all our pages so first we it's just an html document we first create our html then supply the header part then the body part of the document then we're going to specify the title now to get the title we're going to use this page the title this is going to obtain for us the title and we'll have it right there now we're going to set it okay we'll set it later on in the index.chshtml we come we're going to reference the materialize.min as well as the site.css then we're going to render section head right here so we come render section head required equal to false then we'll come to the body now in the body the first thing we're going to supply is actually the navigation bar okay the navigation bar then we have our menu items home and about then we'll come and then have our container this is actually where we're going to render our content so we come right here render body so this render body this is going to render our index.chshtml now once we've done that one we're going to have the footer so this will make up our layout.chshtml let's now move over to index.chshtml so we'll come to our index.chshtml now by the way if you are not sure how to add these particular files first layout.chshtml if you want to add it just right click and then come to add then come choose the layout okay so you just come right here and then choose layout page razor okay we're using the razor then of course for the index.chshtml choose the web page okay so layout choose the layout while for the index.chshtml we come choose the page so we'll come right here so within this particular block this is actually going to we're going to write our c sharp code right here within this block first we have right here our layout and as you can see we can get or set the path of the layout you can see so we are sp specifying the path of the layout then page your title we specify the page title this one of course allow us to with, the, with this page property you can actually set its title property okay with this page right here we can set its title and then this title we are going to be able to reference it from right here 
our layout then once you set that that one will come set also the header and then the subheader so header and subheader we're going to retrieve them uh, of course in our html so we're going to see that one in a short while then we also come right here we have our string array so we supply the data that will be contained in this string array now we come we're going to have our div below right here will come right our html you can see at page.header to give us the header then page subheader for the subheader then we'll come create a row and then inside the row we're going to create a list okay our list view right here as you can see collection with header so this one right here of course these are classes from for materialized css then you're going to create a for each loop loop through our nebula nebula is this particular uh, array that we have right here so we're going to loop through it as you loop through it we're going to create the list items so we come right here inside the list items we're going to have our cards okay so we have our card then we come inside the card we'll specify the card content in the card content we'll have the card title so we can see at nebula this is the description so we come right here we specify the nebula then of course come right here specify the description just below the title okay so then we're going to have our card action card action basically the buttons now when clicked we're going to show at nebula shown okay so we'll get the nebula that's been clicked right here and then say shown or oh now when it is the description we come and say viewed okay that is when the view button is clicked we just come and say viewed okay so this is what we're doing right here shown and viewed if you click the show button we say shown if the view button we say viewed but of course we get the nebula that's been clicked does it guys that's all we need to do let's run the project by clicking f5 f5 to run our project so if we run the project as you guys can see this is what we're getting so you can see still we come right here then we are able to handle the item clicks and as you can see our array of course we've populated them with data and then we can also gen we are also generating the descriptions right here okay so this is what we've actually looked at okay to help us learn about an array as well as the sp.net web pages so this is it guys like this video share it and make sure you guys subscribe to our channel programming wizards tv so that you don't miss any of our tutorials we're doing tutorial tutorials on a daily basis so you don't want to miss them out otherwise take care i'll catch you in the next class